Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at, uh, I'm back to thrifting, got a thrift run to take a look at. Uh, then uh, also uh, another toy lot, pretty good one. We'll take a look at that and even some sales. So let's take a look. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, things are going pretty good. Uh, I got uh, a ton of great merchandise listed, continuing to list, uh, source some more good items today, uh, all the kind of stuff I like. Yeah, we're 100% toys on this thrift run today, actually. So let's take a look at that and then I'll show you, yeah, a pretty, really awesome toy lot that I think is gonna make me a lot of money. And uh, that was from a online auction, shopgoodwill.com and then uh, some sales and, and all that stuff too. Uh, so first little item I got here is a toy that I've recently got in another toy lot. So I'm, it's how I became familiar with it. I'm gonna pull it out of the bag. It was $2.99. These are uh, by a company called Wowie, Wowie Toys. And they, uh, these are untamed fingerling uh, dinosaurs, raptors. They're interactive toys. So I saw those in a toy lot that I had a couple of them and I see that maybe like, they're, they're worth about like 12 to $15 a piece. So this, this one was $2.99, it's in nice condition, it's a Raptor. So I decided to pick that one up. I got a couple more for sale from the other toy lot. They haven't sold yet, but people are already watching it and stuff. But they are neat little interactive toys, so I would say be on the lookout. These are starting to come up in the thrift store now, and I think they're they can uh, sell. Picked up this toy bag here for three ninety nine because of one item in it. Let's open it up and see what we got in here. So there are some aquatic little bathtub toys in there. Not sure if any of these are actually worth anything. Uh, well, I mean, they're worth some of them, but I mean, like worth reselling, I should say. One is a Schleich. This is a Schleich Dolphin, so that's worth checking out. And then one of them is a 2001 KM International Beluga Whale. I'll look them up anyways, if they have a brand name. And especially if they're vintage, but I don't think any of them are vintage. I can't tell what the year is of this, this Schleich. Maybe 2004. So probably nothing, but the reason I bought the bag for 399 is because of this. This is uh, by a brand called Chap May. They make uh, Walmart toys, but uh, these, Chap these Walmart toys are starting to become collectible. Uh, so this one is from 2014. Uh, this is a angler fish, and I believe this is a glow in the dark feature here, and it does have an action feature. I uh, look it up this, this is like, a 25 to 35 dollar toy actually uh, on ebay so picked it up for that really neat toy and uh, i think it will make a profit and speaking of chat may here's another chat may piece i saw in there uh today this is a uh, this was 2.99 this is from a play set i believe called the uh, temple of mystery or something like that uh this is the the cobras the two-headed cobra that goes with it uh this is a electronic toy and it has an action feature. I don't know if both heads are supposed to strike, but sometimes the other one kind of wants to. Uh, but for $2.99, this one might not be so good, maybe $15 to $18, but uh, I don't know. I like it, so I still wanted to pick it up. We'll put it for sale and see how long it takes to sell it. Really neat toy. Then I found this guy. I've sold this guy a couple other times. Uh, this guy's usually good for a $30 sale. It's a Fisher Price Imagine X uh, ogre that goes to a certain castle playset, I believe. Uh, this one was $7.99. And I think I could easily sell that for $30 to $40 uh, total price paid by the customer. So shipping comes out of that and everything. But 2012 Mattel Fisher Price. Okay, now all that's left is the Nerf type stuff. Uh, one was a Walking Dead complete blaster with the magazine, $2.99. Uh, I've had decent luck selling the Walking Dead blasters when I get a couple of them together. Uh, so this will make uh, where I have a couple of them together and try to sell it. Picked up a couple individual blasters that I always take and put in lots of s the same style or kind. For $2.99 there was a Mega Cyclone Shock. I'll just add it to a bunch of Megas and make a lot. And then a 
and then uh, a Maverick for $1.99. I'm still trying to complete basically my last set of Mavericks. I probably will be very selective on the Mavericks after this because uh, they are getting up there and they're, a lot of times they won't function the way they're supposed to, so gotta be careful. Nerf Maverick though. And then I picked up a really new blaster, Elite 2.0 uh, Shockwave. Uh, it was only $3.99. I have another one of these. This isn't like anything special, but for $3.99 I think it's worth picking up and put it together with some other blasters and make it another nice lot. Then there was a uh, Nerf Doofmans Desolator in there. This was only $2.99 as well. Since the price is low, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, it's a pretty decent blaster. It's semi-automatic. It fires pretty well. And then I found a bag for $5.99. Uh, picked up this bag because it has a pretty decent amount of Nerf stuff in there. There's a Nerf uh, uh, Mega tri break in there. And then there's a uh, Nerf uh, laser tag blaster in there, uh, Tiger laser tag. I have a bunch of those Tiger laser tags. I need to go through and see if I can make a really nice lot and sell those. And then there's an old school night finder and stuff in there. But the reason, the, the main, one of the main things I like about it is it had two banana magazines in there and I really need magazines for Nerf guns. So that's a pretty decent bag. Okay, and last but not least, I've had a vintage Nerf find today. Here we have 399, the Split Flyer Plus. This is from 1999. Got the original retail tag on here, 14.98. That was from Game Gallery. So yeah, 1999 blaster, never open. I can see behind this flap here is the original darts that go with it, and like anything, like the you know the pack-in paperwork or and all that stuff. So yeah. 1999 Hasbro this is a blaster I have not seen before and so the first time I came across it it's new in package that's kind of neat hear the power with whistling darts and see the power all new look so translucent and the cool thing about this find is I found two of them so $3.99 a piece I think that's pretty good I'm looking at comps on these and uh, I don't think there's really anybody that has one for sale. There may be one person that has one for sale, but I saw one sold for like tw uh, over 20, maybe close to $30, but that was not new in package. So, oh, uh, this isn't new in package, but you know, it's still in package. The package is beat up. We'll put it that way. It's never been removed from the package. So who knows? Hopefully maybe I can make at least a $30, but maybe like a $40 sale on each of these. We'll see. Definitely neat to take a look at this vintage uh, packaging and everything. Here's the side artwork. Bottom artwork. And the back artwork. So Nerf collectors, what do you guys think about those? The pretty good find? I think so. All right, here we go. Here's another shopgoodwill.com lot this one's pretty insane um this is all action figures of the same line it's a customizable line called marauder task force so i have 33 male figure bodies i think they're all male uh all different kinds I got to figure out if they're like World War II, what are they? I think some of them are World War II. Here's like a green army man style. And this looks like it might be like a different country, maybe. Uh, so there's all these figures. Uh, here's the figure stands. And then uh, here's the heads. Uh, pretty crazy and then I've got 12 canine units and I see in these canine units with their accessories selling for like 50 bucks a piece on eBay and the figures depending on what it is can sell for that much too weird thing about it is the website still exists and it seems like you could I don't know like if they don't have this particular exact figures anymore but it seems like you can go on there and still buy them so I don't 
quite know what what's going on. I think these are all the dog harnesses. I got all the dog harnesses set. These are all, look everything is bagged by the way. How crazy! It's almost like I think these were. This is the way that the Marauder website would have sent it to the customer. Uh, so these people, I mean, whoever owned these took really good care of them. Obviously, maybe they never even busted them out and displayed them like or uh, I'm not sure and then I have this is a bag of all the alternate dog heads uh, oh here's the Marauders disclaimer that they send with their figures I guess it says thank you for allowing us to gun run for you and close is an additional free bonus gift oh that's neat attention please use care when first posing your figure do not force movement of any joint if it feels a little stiff before you possibly damage the figure warm up the joint with a blow dryer or dip in hot water to release the factory production seal so I'm gonna heed that warning <laughs> I might even make copies of this and print it out you know if I'm gonna sell these you know just make sure people understand but the, I think generally speaking the kind of person that's gonna buy this is gonna know what, what it is that they're getting and here is a bag of nothing but accessories. Huge bag. I'm assuming these are the accessories that primarily go with the figures because they're not individually bagged. And the reason I say that is because here is a huge bag of nothing but individually bagged accessories. Here's a helmet. Here's a little uh, grenade. What else we got? Here's a little bayonet. I mean, just a huge bag of it. <laughs> Here's a hat. And so these are pretty relatively high articulated, highly detailed figures, collector's grade. It'd be like, it's basically like GI Joe, but not ever intended to really be played with, only to be posed. very interesting so yeah I paid about 300 for this lot and I'm seeing the dogs sell for like around 50 bucks and I got 12 of those so that's like $600 in gross sales there and then I got 33 figures and the heads and apparently I'm thinking all the accessories that it could ever go with them uh, and then all these accessories here's a, a, a medics gurney or whatever I was looking up the medic figure the only question is is like what to do do I try to figure this out and figure like which which accessories are supposed to go with the figure generally speaking because this is like a customizable action figure line so there's gonna be a lot of research and, and work involved in, in, in trying to figure that out, but other than that, I think I've got a pretty insane, pretty insane lot here. I paid 300, I'm hoping to make at least, I'm thinking this has gotta put me in at like $1,000 gross sales for this stuff, hopefully more. But as a conservative estimate, let's just say $1,000 gross sales. Pretty insane lot. This one might be one of the most insane ones I've gotten. Let me know what you guys think. Does anybody collect this stuff? To me personally, it's not for me. Uh, I, like, I like toys that were actually toys and not just straight up. You know, these aren't even made to be played with, you know, at all. So... Uh, I mean, any any toy that you they recommend you need to warm up in warm water before you try to articulate it is not to be played with. So, but I totally I totally get it. You could make some insane dioramas and very realistic, uh, very realistic uh, battle scenes and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Here's an example with the the pure green army guy. So I put the head on. And then here's his figure stand. Look at all these accessories. Here's his his harness, ammo belt, his backpack with the poncho, shovel, two different rifles, uh, radio, uh, waist belt, I guess. Uh, three different kinds of Hev uh, Kevlar helmets. 
uh, canteen, uh, entrenching tool, uh, another entrenching tool that is more like a sh uh, open shovel style, or maybe an open entrenching tool, I guess. Uh, holster, little pistol, uh, and assorted uh, magazine pouches and uh, first aid pouch or whatever kind of pouch. <laughs> That's all the accessories for one figure. I'm thinking all these accessories that were already open were figures that were actually displayed. And then I'm thinking all these bagged accessories were ones that were never used. Like here's a flamethrower unit. Look at that. The insanity. Oh, here's a uh, tripod 50, 50 cal machine gun setup with an ammo belt, K ammo crate and everything. Good stuff. No telling how many sales I'm gonna make on this stuff. Check this one out. It's in a, he's in a suit. Uh, recognize that face. That's definitely Keanu Reeves. Is that John Wick? I'm gonna have to look it up and see if there's a Marauder John Wick. I think that's what I got here. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, somebody bought two items from me. These uh, those vintage uh, Nintendo Game Boy trading cards from my toy lot and from the same lot, the Nintendo Entertainment System Mario Brothers watch. Made a couple offers. Um, they paid $25 total plus $6.99 to ship for those two items, so that's pretty good. All right, here's some more sales. Uh, here's a lot of a bunch of uh, gun cleaning stuff, uh, vintage gun cleaning stuff. I got it at a yard sale. I just threw it all together to try to blow it out instead of having to try to figure out what everything was and what it belonged to. So somebody paid $29.99 for that, so that's good. Here's a pair of boots uh, that I bought from the thrift store for myself, and they're pretty nice, but they just didn't quite, I didn't quite like the way they felt. They're uh, Aegeus Warm Safety and com Comfort Boots, uh, Steel Toed. Uh, pretty nice boots. I paid about $10 for those, and I paid seven or $8 for a new pair of insoles. I put them in there, and then I sold them for uh, 4401. So I made a profit, but not a lot, but that's fine basically move them along because I decided they're not for me <laughs> then I sold that uh, Halo uh, Xbox controller cell phone holder uh, that guy sold for $48.86 total paid by the customer the customer informed me that it's currently you can buy it at Target I didn't realize that I didn't know it was that new then uh, that DC, I forgot what this guy is, Arius or something like that, DC Universe figure, $25.76 total pay by the customer. Then this little Halo keychain right here, $12.77 total pay by the customer. Then uh, these two uh, Twist, and, Twist and Shout Leapfrog games, Twist and Shout Edition and Twist and Shout Mul Multiplication. I paid $3 for those at the thrift store. Those sold for uh, $27.73 total pay by the customer. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.